I think we get captured by the issue that gets promoted the most. And that issue is climate change. And mm-hmm. along with climate change, there's going to be someone trying to use methods to mitigate it that also restrict your ability to do things. Mm. And you're seeing it in California where they're saying they're not going to sell any more gas cars after yeah. 2035. I'm curious about that. Is like cuz that seems like cuz it feels like the biggest carbon p- footprint and maybe I'm wrong about this. But this is just me thinking about it. In a car is not the average day-to-day use of it. It's the making and the manufacturing and the shipping of the car. That's a big factor. The those giant fucking boats that travel over from germany with your mercedes right like those things they they're this is how much they're putting out okay Mm -hmm. in the un i want to say 2018 or so Mm -hmm. somewhere around then they made new regulations for the emissions uh, of those boats right so these boats were emitting so much pollution that it was acting as a filter for the sunlight that was heating up the ocean. So when they changed the regulations and these boats emitted less carbon and less pollution, there was no longer a foggy haze where they traveled. And so the sunlight came down more and the ocean warmed up. (laughs) So it warmed up the ocean much more than they predicted. Right. So the pollution was actually protecting the ocean from warming quicker. That's that's wild. That doesn't right. make sense when you say it out loud. Well, it's crazy. Because, right. But we know that from 9-11. Because when the p- flights stopped flying overhead, I mean, I don't know how many flights fly overhead in the United States every day. Right. But when the flights stopped flying overhead because they had a, a cease on all airline flights, the earth got warmer in the United States. Damn. Like measurably warmer. Damn. Because there isn't this filter of protection of those artificial clouds that people think are chemtrails. Not that there might not actually be chem cr- chemtrails, because it definitely seems like they've experimented on that. Because it's one of the things they've talked about to mitigate the effects of this lack of pollution from these cargo ships mm. is to spray shit in the sky that would also <laughs> linger there and act to cool off. Their, so they're going to make their own pollution. That's so funny. And then the other thought that makes more sense and it seems more sustainable is actually to take ocean water and to spray it into the air and to have the, these machines uh, powered by coal. No, right. just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what they would be powered. Maybe nuclear power or something right. like that. That spray ocean air into the atmosphere and to that cool would it down. Ask, that, yeah, that would act as a, a layer of cloud cover. Interesting. Well, when you see a jet go through the air and you see those clouds behind the jet right those are clouds right and they're making everyone gay right no <laughs> that, that, no that's that, the astrazine that's the <laughs> that's a, a pesticide okay yeah i don't I, I, I lose track of my conspiracy yeah. theories after a while no, but this isn't a, this is like real okay. what happens is there's at a certain temperature the heat of the jet engine and combined with the uh condensation in the atmosphere when there's a certain amount of moisture in the atmosphere in a certain temperature mm-hmm. it literally cr- creates clouds so as it goes through, the, the turbines, this incredibly hot thing that's spinning, it's sucking in air and pumping out clouds. And that's what those trails are when you see them. And they right. slowly dissipate over time. But as they dissipate, they form cloud cover. Mm. And it's actual cloud cover. So mm. in Los Angeles, that's like most of the cloud cover some of the it's years. It's from planes. Fucking planes. That's weird. <laughs> weird because how many times do you go outside in la and there's zero clouds right a lot right but then you see those contrails mm. and that's what and so people that you know don't look into that go oh my god the government's spraying us imagine if they were just spraying constantly <laughs> they're just spraying constantly prince used to believe that really oh my god this is crazy interview with prince where he was talking about how when he was young like uh everybody would be in the street having a good time and then all of a sudden, planes would go by and everybody would start fighting. And he, <laughs> Prince thought that they were spraying like angry gas <laughs> over the cities. I was like, yo, bro, you need to get some better friends. <laughs> That's great. This is pre Google, though, you know? Oh, wow. This is back in the Dizzy. Right. Where, where See you if just... you can find that. See if you can find that interview. I love that. Interview. I forget who Prince was talking about. It wasn't that long. You, you, oh shit! Two thousand nine. That, oh, that, that, that's pretty long. That's also PBS. let's let's be charitable. Fifteen years almost. Let's be charitable. Prince had like severe hip degeneration from all of his dancing and everything. He that. was in Rick serious pain because mm-hmm. you know he used to spin and do splits and all that stuff. 
apparently all those shows he fucked his hips up pretty bad and that's why he was he died from fentanyl overdose mm, to he, mitigate the pain somebody had given him like a bullshit pill mm -hmm. which is what happens when a lot of people get opioids from dealers right. instead of from a doctor and one of the things that happens when people get addicted to opioids is they just need it like right and they'll take like that's how tom petty died mm. he got it from some guy who was working at a concert that he was doing like a roadie or something like that right. gave him a pill like, i need something man I'm fucked because he, he was in pain and he was addicted to these pills. And so they gave him one and it had fentanyl in it and he died. That's wild. Wild. So we lost Prince and we lost him. We lost Tom Petty. Off fentanyl. Off fentanyl. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Fentanyl's out here putting up numbers. Right. And, and Prince was like super healthy, very fit, you know, ate really well, took care of himself, still got hooked. Still. Damn. That, that, still got those opioids. <laughs> they, Jesus. Did you see uh, the Netflix thing, uh, uh, Painkiller? No, because I know if I watched it, it would just make me sad. Bro, I, just, I, I don't need to watch more sad things. It'll make you Let's, angry because yeah, it's not real people. It's a, it's a docudrama. Like okay. Matthew Broderick stars as the uh, the head of the Sackler family. Mm -hmm. <sighs> just. Bro, what they did was horrifying. Pure evil. Pure evil. Evil. Just sacrificing lives for money. For, for, for that profit. Cash. Yeah. That Tricking cash. people. Tricking people into thinking you just need to stay medicated forever on heroin. Well, that's, that, I mean, that's what the, they really push medicine in this country like crazy. Like crazy. Like crazy. When you first really start paying attention to it, you're like, damn, every, so many medical commercials. Yeah, so many. And a lot of them are just to, just to like go after the effects of other pills that you're using. Mm -hmm. It's just, they, it, it, it's, yeah. It's wild to think that, like, oh, like, doctors are not necessarily people you can trust well it's they're a spokesperson for a larger organization that mm -hmm. tells them what they're supposed to prescribe mm -hmm. and they're they're all captured and these guys are all in the hole like for fucking oh yeah the school medical debt. yeah school debt is yeah. insane and you have so much money that you have to pay for insurance and uh, there's a lot of overhead and <sighs> it's a struggle right you know and they want to buy a porsche <laughs> right of course uh, well you you you, you, you want to be a doctor too to live that life you know yeah. that's the whole point but yeah that, that that just college in general that's really just such a big just undergrad because mm -hmm. i graduated and one of the things that pushed me to stand up is i was in it and i was like this is bullshit this just all felt like bullshit it's what like you, what was your major i am a i have a i have a bs degree in cognitive science with a specialty in neuroscience or, or, or something like that yeah 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 